Steam recently released the new Gyro to Mouse mode that will soon replace the old Gyro as Mouse mode. The new Gyro mode is smoother and steadier than the old one, and it's a very welcome upgrade. Here's how to use it. For now, this new mode is only available on the Steam beta updates, so there may be some drastic changes on the UI from what you will see in this video. So if you watch this video in the future, you probably won't have to activate Steam beta updates, but for now, to activate Steam beta updates, go to Preferences, Interface, and activate Steam beta updates. Your Steam will restart and you are good to go. Now, just enter the game of your choice, press the home button, go to controller configuration and edit layout. And here, you will see the new gyro to mouse mode. For this new mode to work, you will need to calibrate it first. If you are already familiar with Clickstick, you will be happy to know that the calibration value is the same for both modes. So, if you are already using Clickstick, just put the same pixel per 360 degree value. But, if you aren't familiar with Clickstick yet, Clickstick changes the behavior of the analog stick. Instead of constantly moving the camera in one direction, you can just snap to the angle that you point it. You won't be able to look up or down though, so you need to combine it with Jarwing. There are two ways to calibrate Flickstick. In the boring slow way, you will disable Gyro and set your analog stick to Flickstick. Set Flickstick sensitivity to 0 and set snapping to 90 degrees. Now align your aim with something and flick in the same direction 4 times. If it overshots, decrease the sensitivity. If it doesn't go far enough, increase the sensitivity. This method will only work if the game doesn't have mouse smoothing or acceleration active and the mouse sensitivity will influence the flick stick calibration. The cool and faster way to calibrate flick stick was discovered by the user Adorable Poetry in the Jaro Gaming subreddit. Just go to the site mouse sensitivity, set unities to counts, choose the game that you want to configure. Your DPI won't matter, so I will use 6545 because that's the default Steam pixel value. Set the location to either in-game or configuration files. Then, just write the in-game or configuration file sensitivity number. Scroll down and the 360 distance should give you the exact calibrated value. You can ignore everything after the dot. However, I recommend you to find rounded numbers, because using a value that ends with 0.7 or 0.6 for example, didn't give me the best calibration, especially with the higher gyro sensitivity. This site also shows if the game has mouse smoothing, if the sensitivity is tied to the resolution or the FOV, and much much more, so you can easily fix any problems that you might have. Now we can return to the game and set the value that we found and BOOM! Gyro and Flickstick are perfectly calibrated. In this new mode, sensitivity follows the natural sensitivity scale, meaning that one full rotation in real life means one full rotation in the game. I like to play with 1 to 4 sensitivity. There is also a very small dead zone applied by default and a tightening window, meaning that small movements will be more filtered than big movements. These two options will make this mode super steady in comparison to the old mode. Other than that, we have a new yaw and roll slider. We also got new acceleration curves. We just had the option to have low, medium or high acceleration, but now it's clear what each one does. Now, the best new feature is the friction mode. Every time gyro is disabled with the gyro enable button, the camera will continue to spin in that direction and stop once the gyro is active again. This is incredible for gyro ratcheting. And it's a huge game changer. So when this mode releases in the stable Steam version, I will remake again my gyro in depth guide. And as time goes on, I will leave the new calibration in the description of old videos. So subscribe so you don't miss any of that. And while you are at it, please leave a like and share this video. Thanks for watching!